Hey guys and welcome to another vlog. Today we are going to do a little walk around Dalesford farm shop. Dalesford organic farm. <laughs> <laughs> Hey guys and welcome to. <laughs> that doesn't make them. Hey guys, hey guys and, and welcome. Wel like hello and. Wel hey guys, welcome to another vlog. So today we're at Dalesford, and I thought I would show you around, show you a few of the things we've got, and then we're gonna head for lunch a bit later. Mikey's here with me. Hey. Ready for a day of shopping. Right, we're gonna head in now, and we will see you in a bit. So we've just come in to kind of the first outdoor plant area and Mikey's looking at a few plants now. He's actually become quite a good gardener I think this summer or <laughs> or is trying to. He's that pleased that I said that. Yeah. For me. <laughs> um, so I think we'll probably pick up a few plants for the garden because they're so lovely and we definitely want to add a few more plants that we can cut to bring into the house as well. So Mikey likes this one, so we might see if we can get a few of those and then maybe some pots for them as well. That's really cute. Like it's a bit of a nettle maybe. No, I think that's really pretty. Guys, what do you think of these? Let me know. We kind of have a wild flower vibe going, so, so all of these sorts of things that are leafier I think work really well. But we definitely need some more colour to break up the leaves, I think, do you? Yes, definitely. That's pretty. Yeah, that's cute, isn't it? Yeah, I bought one like this last week actually for the table, a small one, but I like the idea of more of a tree as well. This is one of my favourite areas of Dalesford, so there's these really nice lights which actually are similar to the ones we have in our bedroom, but it's a really pretty kind of kitchen garden filled with salads and other plants, which yeah, I'm rubbish at plants, but trying to get a bit more into it, but I will never be a gardener. <laughs> I do like all of these herbs though. Do you know, it's honestly so pretty here. We, we haven't been for a couple of months now. Everything is just so alive in the summer, which is so nice. So if you can pop by if you're nearby, um, then yeah, definitely do over the summer because it looks really lovely. Do you know, unpopular opinion as well, I've never been a massive fan of roses, but this year I'm really into kind of all of the different types of roses and there are loads here as well. I think these are really pretty and we're kind of bringing some softer pinks into the garden. So definitely gonna think about getting a couple of rose bushes. I've also just seen these, which I love. So they're called a West Country Lupin. And I think they're such a pretty color. We have quite a few yellows in the garden as well with lots of pinks and purples. So yeah, I think these will all work really well. What do you think? These ones? Yeah. Yeah, they're cool. They're nice, aren't they? They're cute. So we're going to have a bit of a wander indoors as well, look at the homeware and then probably come back out and pick a few plants to take home with us. Just on the way into the home and we've literally come into basket heaven and they're also reasonably priced as well. So these rattan planters are I think £11, that one doesn't have a price on, I think they're £11 so they obviously change dependent on the size. This one, which is a really, really good size, is £55, which I think is really good. So might pick up a few of the smaller ones of those as well. just seen this cutlery don't know how well you can see it but Mikey really likes it and I do too as well actually so we might see how much that is and potentially pick up a set as you might have seen in an earlier vlog ours snapped <laughs> 
I've also just seen these like water jugs or for flowers which I think are really sweet so might get a couple of those. We also really like all of these glasses that have the coloured rims so if they have any high balls and we might get some because we do need some tall glasses. Guys we've just found this dog bag or Mikey did actually which is so cute isn't it look yeah yeah imagine Ziggy just sat in there yeah, Ziggy and his little sister. <laughs> How? Hmm. Sorry, Ziggy, you're not worth it. <laughs> oh my god, also look how cute these little tweed hats are. I mean, Ziggy's more of a glitter and pink vibe <laughs> than tweed, but so adorable. Mikey likes these as well, which, yeah, they're cute. They're on the collar. Yeah, I would rather it just in one colour though. I like that idea. Yeah, it's quite cute for pride. We've just come through to the food and wine area and we really love this rosé um, and this white as well and I've noticed a few different bottles so might try and get a new one to try. Dalesford also have these really amazing hampers. We've actually had a couple before which were really nice. You can get like the different hand creams and stuff in there, tea towels, obviously wines. Yeah, which is really nice. So we've just finished in Dalesford. Hopefully you managed to have a good look around if you haven't been before. We picked up quite a few nice bits, which I'll show you when we get home. But now we're gonna head to lunch in a nice pub. What's it called? The King and Plough. The what? The King Ham Plough. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going for lunch at the King and Plough, which is only about two minutes away from Dalesford. We haven't looked at the menu. We literally just called and booked. So yeah. gonna give that a go and we'll catch up with you and show you what we got when we get home. We've just had such a nice lunch. I think I mentioned before, but we went to... Mikey, where did we go for lunch? It was called the King and Plough, which was... The King and Plough? Something like that. It was in Kingham, funnily enough, which is really near to Dalesford. And yeah, we had a delicious lunch. I think I took some footage of it, but I had a salad that was called the Santa Fe salad, and it had feta, avocado, nuts, loads of delish things with a really big side of chips and Mikey had a steak which was good he said. So I thought I'd show you the things we got from Dalesford as you might be able to see from some of the bags we did get quite a bit but we actually had an £100 voucher which I forgot we had it was in my wallet which was left over from a wedding gift which was a very nice surprise when we got to the till at the end. <laughs> So when we paid, it came out at like £150 maybe and we didn't realise we had a voucher so I ended up going back and getting a couple of the bits that I thought I really liked and wanted to buy but I thought I didn't want to spend too much money. So that worked out well. <laughs> so to start off, I'll show you actually something we got for Mikey's dad. It's Father's Day tomorrow so we got Mikey's dad this wine journal so he's very into drinking wine <laughs> and it's basically a book that you can write down like how much you like the wine, the percentage, the like all of the different details about it which we thought would be quite a nice present for him um, to go with a bottle or two for Father's Day so that's the first thing. Then from the food hall we got this pasta which is a tubetti rigati, 
I'm probably pronouncing that really wrong again. But it's a whole wheat pasta that we've had before and we really love that. And then an organic basil pesto, which I'm just gonna, for dinner, maybe tonight or tomorrow, gonna just cook this and literally run this through on the hob and then put some parmesan maybe on a bed of rocket, which should be yummy. We got this bottle opener. We've needed a new one for a while and I really love, I'm not sure if it's focusing, but I really love the wood texture of this and with the chrome as well. So I thought that was really nice and that was eight pounds. So not too bad at all. I honestly love unboxing things. So I'm really glad that I can now put homeware hauls on YouTube. Oh, I actually love this. <laughs> so we got this water sprayer from Dalesford, which was £10. It's a yeah glass mister, and it's got a really nice ribbed detail, which I'm kind of seeing everywhere at the moment. And then it's obviously got the black at the top. And I thought this was really good for the kitchen windowsill, just to spray the herbs. So yeah, really happy with that for £10. <laughs> I've been looking for something like that for a while as well, so that's good. I'm trying to be really careful with buying things that I know I'm going to keep and knowing where they go, just because I have a cupboard that's literally full of vases and lamps and things that I'm not quite sure where they're going to go. They will work somewhere and if not, I'll make sure they go to a home where they are going to be used. But because we're making all these changes in the house, I have quite a clear vision on each room. so. Yeah, I basically designed each room properly from start to finish. Actually, let me know in the comments, please, if you think you would like to see more about designing a space. Maybe I could do a video that's kind of start to finish how to design a room, even how to make a mood board and choose colours and stuff, because I've done that for every room. And I feel like it really helps me when shopping to know kind of what will work in the space. So let me know. So the next thing we got was this water carafe, which I really love. I feel like I've seen similar ones, but in different sizes in the white company. This was 16 pounds and it's got this kind of seagrass netting around, which I really like. And yeah, we'll probably use that for water, maybe outdoors, because it gives me the kind of texture, gives me outdoor garden vibes, or maybe for white wine or red wine as a carafe in summer so yeah really happy with that they actually had this in a few other sizes as well so if you are looking for kind of varying sizes then you can obviously get that in a few so the next thing we picked up is this quite small glazed pot it's kind of in a like gray bluey minty color and it's got a lot of worn detailing i'll show you closer now. so hopefully you can see there it's got like a really beautiful and subtle rib ribbing to it and then it's kind of faded in areas so that was seven pounds and i'm actually planning on using that in our bathroom to go next to the like toothbrush holder to actually put some razors in because our toothbrush holder is really full at the moment and i thought that color would work really well with the wall color and the checkerboard floor and kind of all the different colors and textures in there <laughs> the next thing we got was this watering pan which i really love this was £35 and it obviously is a tin finish in like a very shiny chrome, which I think is really classic. I know that a lot of things are moving or have been at the gold and antique brass and the warmer colours for a while, but I think in a lot of the pieces that you kind of use, like kitchen items and gardening tools, it just makes more sense for them to be in metal or tin. And obviously the end has the gold detail, which I really like. And for 35 quid, we've needed a new watering can for a while. So really happy with that one. Just so you can see it a bit better. Here we go. There's the end. <laughs> also guys, before I forget, obviously I've spoken quite a lot about how we're changing so much of our cottage and it's kind of been going for a while. We've been saving for different things. Obviously it's really expensive and you want to do it right. I've been mood boarding and kind of changing what we're doing. But that does mean that in some of my YouTube videos, you'll kind of have to put up with backgrounds that maybe aren't quite Instagram worthy. They're just plain and pretty boring. So 
I think they're out of shot, but there's basically like a hole on the wall up there, so just ignore it, it's just work happening. The next thing we got is this terracotta pot, or a vase. Um, this was £12, it's got a really, really lovely texture to it, as I'm sure you can see. So it's slightly aged, but I would say it's also quite subtle, so it would work in kind of a more contemporary home or something a bit more traditional as well. And for £12, I thought that was a really good price, and they have so many pots there in different sizes and styles, some with saucers, um, some larger, some smaller. So if you're in the market for some new ones, I would definitely suggest checking them out. Okay, so the last couple of bits we picked up, first one was this rattan outdoor planter, which was such good value for money. This is £11, which is such a bargain. I feel like you couldn't even get like an indoor I don't know, like from HomeSense or something, rattan basket for £11. So it's lined, pre-lined with um, plastic so that you can put your plants in there. You can obviously pop some holes in this so that it drains through, which is what we've done to our other ones. And yeah, whether that kind of goes in the centre of an island, the centre of a dining table, either indoors or outdoors, I think that would look really nice. Could even sit on the floor next to kind of a bigger one. And the now the last two things we got, a couple of different plants to kind of recreate that cottagey look they had. So the first one is, please ignore my pronunciation because I'm awful as I've proven in other vlogs, a salvia caradonna, caradonna. Hopefully you can see there, it's quite a pretty purple plant that looks kind of wild as well. So that's the first one, that will sit in there, alongside this one, which again is kind of a wild looking lavender. This is an Augustifolia Munstead lavender. Again, literally means nothing to me, but we thought that would look pretty, kind of potted in there. And they were £6.50 each, so that whole planter, what's that? 6 50 times 2, 13, add 11. £27. No, that's so wrong. 13 add 11, 24, right. 24 pounds. Good thing I'm not a mathematician. <laughs> so that was everything that we picked up from Dalesford. We had such a nice day going and exploring, getting a bit of inspo for some of the changes in the cottage. And although we are going for kind of a darker, richer, more colorful palette in the renovations, I'll always love the kind of rustic textural neutral vibes that Dalesford and so many other shops have as well. So if you're nearby, I really do suggest popping by for some inspo. Hopefully you enjoyed today's vlog and as always if you did, please, please do, please, please like this video and subscribe to my channel and watch my other videos as well because it really does mean a lot to me and let me know what kind of thing you like to see from me. If you want to see more like this, let me know and I will happily oblige. <laughs> see you next time guys, bye!